Hey guys, Stephanie here. Uh, I am working on a cookbook and I wanted to show you something that <clears throat> can come in handy when you are working on interiors for books. Typically this doesn't work for nonfiction for fiction books, but it can work for nonfiction books and uh, such as like this cookbook where you have a pattern to your styles. And what I mean is if we look at this particular document and we look at the way the styles are set up, here should be ornament start. This is going to be ornament start. This is going to be block quote. This is going to be just regular ornament. This is going to be a chapter title, which is really recipe title. Um, and then this is serves. This is a header for ingredients. This is an ingredient list. And this is the header for method. And then these are just numbered. All right. So the reason why I'm telling you this is that because this is kind of a pattern. Now it doesn't all fall a perfect pattern. All right. But um, it can fall a certain pattern to a certain point. So all of this, this pattern through these, uh, through this ornament start is going to be the same throughout the book. Okay. So what that means is that it's, 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 it's a continuous pattern. So it's going, always going to go in this, in this pattern. However, because the ingredient list is different for every recipe, this is where it's going to break, where the pattern is going to break, because each of these are going to be defined as ingredient list, but that ingredient list number is going to vary depending on the recipe. All right, so that's going to be our first break. So you might say, what do you mean by that? Help me understand. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're just going to select this whole first uh, this whole first part of this recipe, all right? And we know that the first style in this recipe is going to be this ornament start, all right? Now, I've already gone through the process of setting up all the next styles for all this, so this is the reason why it works. But I want to show you how it works, and then I'll show you how to set it up. But I've already set it up, but I'll show you how I did it. All right, so here we go. Ornament start. We're going to right click on ornament start and we're going to say next style. So what InDesign is going to do is it's going to follow this pattern that I have set up with all these styles and apply the next style to everything I have selected. Okay, so believe it or not, it did it, but because we don't have these styles done yet, we can't see it yet. So here what we're going to do is we are going to select, we know this is ingredient met, um, header method. So we're going to right click header method and we're going to say apply header method, the next style. All right. Now you see everything line up properly. All right. So now I'm going to show you again for the next recipe. So we're going to go through and go to the end of the ingredient list. Actually, this is going to be the end of the gradient list. We have to do this one a little differently in styling, um, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. So we know we are starting with ornament start. So we're going to go apply ornament start, then next style and clear overrides, just in case there's any overrides. So look what it did. It actually applied all those styles. Now I'll have to do something with this because this is a another sub ingredient list within this and I'll probably for styling purposes, I'll probably just do this. And so it'll <clears throat> do that. And then also in recipe books, if you do a lot of recipe books, uh, avoid hyphenation in the ingredient list. It's not needed. So we're going to redefine that. And then I'm going to delete all her periods because we don't need those. Then I'm going to come back here and um, come to the end here. And then we're going to do that again, header, method, next style. And I know that I need to go through and get rid of these and, and, and restructure some of these because of the way it came through from the Word document. All right. So 
Now let's see that in action again. So we're going to start here with this ornament and I am going to go through the end of the ingredient list and we're going to right click, apply next style. Hmm, that didn't work. Why didn't that work? Well, it's because we have an extra paragraph mark in here. And so it's telling the, it's applying the next style to this, which is ornament, when it really needs to be the next style with this. So we're going to do that again. And then we're going to say next style. And actually, we can clear overrides when we do that. Clear overrides. And now it is correct. And then we can come here and um, do this part. Clear overrides. All right. Now, some of these, you have to pay attention when you're doing these. Some of these can, um, the person, this one is a bad example because she doesn't have it all properly <laughs> formatted. Uh, in the right order. So we're going to ignore that one for now and I'll have to manually do that one. And then we're going to pull this up because we're going to have the same issue. And it looks like I don't even have it. Yeah, see this one's going to mess up too because we don't even have a recipe title. So when you're doing these, you have to make sure that the pattern actually repeats. All right, so here we shouldn't have any problems. So we are going to come here and do it again. All right now I'm a little lost. Okay, never mind. So here we go. That's probably my mistake. All right, so we're going to start here. We're missing. Yeah, these are all <laughs> out of order of course here here it is I'm trying to give you an, a good example and it's all all messed up so we're going to go back to the next we're going to go to the next section to hopefully help it make sense and this is the problem you have to have a document that is going to have that consistent repeatable um, pattern if you don't, you're going to come across many issues like I'm spotting here, trying to give you this, this uh, example. So we're going to do it here. All right. So I already see there's a problem here that there is a paragraph mark. So I'm going to delete this one. And everything else follows in that pattern that I know it should. So we're going to come here, apply ornament, and then a clear overrides. Now, you might say, well, why didn't it push it into the, the column properly? It's because we don't have all of this formatted from the pages before. So it's, it's not aligning itself properly just yet. But I could easily push it over to the next page, and it's going to line up properly. So here we go again, header method, and clear styles. Didn't clear my overrides though. All right, so one more time to give you a good example. And this is me, I need to put in the little graphic. We're gonna start with this ornament and go to the end of the ingredient list and apply ornament start. Next style, clear overrides. And then again, with the numbered list, which will end here. And we're gonna do header method and then clear, clear all the styles. All right, so that's how you can use, um, that's kind of how they, they work. Now, again, some of mine doesn't follow the exact pattern but this will at least give me um, a quick way to set all the styles without having to go through one by one manually. I'll be able to do certain sections at a time and set that style. Now you might say, well, how did you do that, Stephanie? All right, so let's go back here. All right, so we know that each page is gonna follow kind of this loose pattern. So we have an ornament here then we have this, what's called a block quote in this particular style document. Don't ask me why, I just use block quote. Um, 
you could say sidebar or whatever you want, and then there's going to be another ornament here. But we need these style definitions to be two different names, even though they're exactly the same, all right? Because uh, what we do is here is ornament start. So we're going to look at ornament start. We're going to look at the style definition. So if we look at the main general page, under next style, the next style is set to block quote, which is my block quote here, all right? Then if we look at block quote, look at the general tab, it'll say the next style is ornament, all right? So that is why we have to have an ornament start and an ornament because we, for ornament, if we assign this ornament start, the next style would set as block quote, but we don't want it to set as block quote, we want it to set as chapter title. So that's when we have to have two different ornaments, even if they are the same style. So now this one is ornament, and so our next style is chapter title, all right? Now, if we look at chapter title, I have a keep option set where chapter title starts in the next frame, all right? I also have in this ornament start where the ornament starts in the next frame as well, all right? And so that means that this is always going to be the top of the frame of a new frame, and this is always going to be the top of the new frame because this is a, a separate frame from this, all right? I hope that makes sense. All right, so here we go. Looking at chapter title again, you will see the next style is serves. So here is serves, and if we look at serves, our next style should be header ingredients and so on. So if you want to set up a pattern with your styles, that's how you would do it, all right? But just know that if your document isn't exactly in that same pattern, it's going to be off in some cases. So you will have to do some kind of manual tweaks to it just in case you have any of those kind of similar issues that I'm having with this document. All right, hope that gives you a good little lesson in using next style in your styles menu.